Hello everyone. Well, this video will be about rearranging the shortcuts in order to get some speed in the work process. And I hope it helps you out a bit. And I also have this on my other channel, my game development channel. Links in the description, of course. And, uh, well, let's get to it. Right now, the shortcut keys are all over the keyboard. I don't like that. You might as well just use menus over here to, to, to select specific tools, but that's an inconvenience as well, in my opinion. It could be done much faster, with many of the mostly used tools at least. I usually have my mouse in my right hand, and I want to keep it there. I do not want to release the mouse to move over the, to the keypad, for instance, for selecting views and stuff. Some notebooks even don't have keypads. On the other hand, my left hand, my pinky, will always be at the left control key. And I will not move my hand anywhere else except the left side of the keyboard. That's, that's the region I want to stay at. So there's a lot of shortcut keys like inverting selection, selecting links, knife tool, all those are all on the right side of the keyboard. I want to move them over and so I don't need to look at the keyboard anymore. I can just look at my work. So I want to keep my hand right where it is. Now let me get to the user preferences. Lock up. Anyway, preferences. And let me just load factory preferences, like so. Well, at first I use the spacebar for searching things because I'm used to that. I right click to select things because I'm used to that. So if I refer to the left mouse, anyone who's selecting with the left mouse should regard that to be the right mouse. I'm not going to use the regular Blender, I'm going to use the Blender 2.7 version. And then I'm going to save these preferences. And first off we're going to look at, for instance, well, the pivot point. Mostly it's set at median point, for instance. But if I just rotate things, for instance, like this, it's not going to be around the median point. I usually snap my cursor somewhere right, right here, for instance, or G, I'll just move it a bit further, snap my cursor here, press Ctrl C to un undo this operation, and then I can rotate this around a specific point if I select 3D cursor as my pivot point. And that's, my, that's what I mostly use. So, rotate around X and it rotates around a specific point that I selected. Now, and I don't want to go to the snap menu either with my cursor. Each time I se select one of these, snap, cursor to select it and then rotate. Uh, that's inconvenient as well. I don't want menus. Not so much, at least. Now, let's take a look at the left mouse button. For instance, if you select with left, I do mean right, okay? So we're going to use the preferences. I'm going to get to the key map. And let's say left mouse. That's a key binding. Let's see what we do with the left mouse at this point. Let's scroll over to mesh editing, mesh, 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 mesh. There's nothing much I do with the left mouse. Yeah, just just control, control, shift, left, duplicate or extrude to cursor. It's twice. You know, let's just remove that one. I'm going to use snap my cursor in a faster way. I'm going to use the shift left mouse. I can place my cursor anywhere like with the left mouse like this. Now I'm going just to right click and say select. Sorry, snap menu, shift S, cursor to select it. I right click, assign shortcut and I say shift left click. So let's do that. Bang. And then I can just scale zero. Things like that. It's it's uh other than that I would like to merge these points together. If I click shift right click this one, shift left right click this one, shift right click and hold on shift I can just as well use shift left mouse to snap my cursor and for instance you shift alt to merge them together so the merge menu merge at cursor right click assign shortcut shift alt left mouse so i just click my mouse here and merge them together and that's a very fast process 
shift click, click my mouse here, sh you know, shift right click this one, merge together, things like that. Yeah, that's pretty convenient. I can also do shift control right click, snap my cursor, I just release control, that's it. I keep shift pressed, include alt and left click and there we go. It, it takes getting used to, but it's really convenient. And then I could just as well say, well, alt left click is going to be snap menu, selection to cursor with offset. I just right click, assign shortcut, alt left click. So now I could just say, for instance, something like this. I think I did. So we're going to take a look at that. For instance, view axis. I'm going to the user preferences right here. And I'm saying view axis. That's a name in a 3D view. Well, let's just say we turn these off and let's try it ourselves. Front view, tweak, middle mouse. Well, let's make it north, all right. And then um, it's going to be front view, like so. Including control, of course. Let's see what it does. This is front, this is front view, great. Next one will be tweak, Numpad 3, that's the right view, I think. Middle mouse, east, and we include control. Let's see what it does. Yeah, that would be the, the right view. Great. Next will be numpad 7, that's a top view. Tweak middle mouse, uh, north, 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 include alt, that's correct, that's the top view, and now we're going to select this one, control numpad, that's the back view, tweak, middle mouse, south, we're including control, Yep, this one, control numpad 3, that's the left side, tweak, middle mouse, west, and it's also got control included, and then control numpad 7, that's the view from below, let's make that tweak, middle mouse, south, and Instead of the control, we use Alt, for instance, like this. Front view, back view, left view, right view, top view, bottom view. Yeah, it works. It's great. All right. Let's save these preferences. If I just select, type in middle as key binding and see what else we do with middle mouse. Well, send the view to mouse. Yeah, I don't need that. And what else? Zoom view, control middle mouse. Well, just let's turn that off too. I just scroll my wheel to zoom the view. Dolly view, I have no clue. Just turn that off as well. Pan view, shift middle mouse, that's correct. Rotate view, middle mouse, that's correct. So I'm just going to type view selected. And it's not a key binding, it's a name. Now, let's select, view selected is numpad period. That's interesting. Well, let's just make that something else. I just click this one, control, middle click. Middle click mouse, that's the way it is. Right, and now I move over to see, well, I've got a couple of things selected here. I just control middle click and it snaps to the selection. Beautiful. However, what if I just control, just control front view for instance. It 
it is a front view, that's great, but it also snaps to the, uh, snaps the view to selection. And that wasn't supposed to happen, I just wanted a front view. Hmm. So let's see, look, take a look at that. And instead of press for view selected, we're going to select click. Now let's see what happens next. So now I just move over here, front view, side view. Yeah, it works, front view. Now I just control click and it snaps to the selection. Now let's go to back to user preferences and save these preferences for the time being. Export. And let's say I'm going to export them to, well, my documents would be nice in this case. Keys to 80. Dot Python. Keys to 80. Now this one would be my first keys. First to 80. These are the first to 80s. So like so. I'm going to export them to my documents. Now we also have um, select more, select less. For instance, that's keypad plus and minus. Let's move them over somewhere else as well. And since we're busy with the middle mouse, let's assign them to the middle mouse as well. Select, let's see, select more or less. I'm just going to right click this, change shortcut, and I control scroll up. And less, right click, change shortcut, control scroll down. Like so. So if I select this one, scrolling up, scrolling down. Yeah, that works beautifully. Well, you also have keypad 5, that's switching from orthographic to perspective view, but there's a button for that on the top right, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm not using that all too much, so I just don't need it to be assigned to any shortcut key at all. So it's, I think it's already quite, fun, quite nice like this. Besides, there's also keypad 4, for instance, and you're, yeah, that's all very interesting, but if I take a front view, control north and I hold out control alt I can just rotate the view I'm scrolling my wheel with control alt so yeah I can take any steps in between there or control shift it's rotating the view like this so if I take a front view and control shift I can just rotate like so or a top view control shift yeah so yeah that's good enough for me I don't need any more of these uh, keypad keys. Suppose you would like to edit this middle object here. It's kind of obscured. Now I could just select a vertex here, or just a range of vertices, and then control scroll my mouse wheel to select them, and then control I to invert selection, and then press H to hide. So I could work with this. I could also, for instance, I press Alt H, I could also select a single vertex, press Ctrl L to select linked, and then invert Ctrl I, and then hide. But I and L, those are a bit out of the way too. Now there's a solution for that, because, well, there are several solutions for that. For instance, if I right click or select this one, Ctrl and select this one, it selects a path. Or Alt, select a, a loop, or Ctrl Alt, select an edge ring. But that only works if I select one of the vertices or edges or something. If I move my mouse out of the way, I can hold on control, it will not select a path. So I could say, for instance, select linked or invert, for instance. Let's say invert. Uh, select, invert, right click, change shortcut, control, right mouse. As you can see, I can just click there, but still the select path, if I'm just going to do this, still works. If I move it out of the way a bit, it inverts selection. Another option would be to invert selection by pressing, for instance, Ctrl A. I mean, you select all or nothing like this, selecting all or nothing. So you could just say Ctrl A is invert. So let's do that. Invert, right click. Remove shortcut, invert, assign shortcut, control A. Because it's not used for anything else as well. Alt H, 
So I just could say Ctrl A, invert selection. Select linked, the same thing. I would use Alt A for select linked, for instance. So here we go. Select linked, right click, change shortcut, Alt A. I just click Alt A, and here we go. And then Ctrl A. Yeah, it's still a bit mm, clumsy. I'm not sure, but at least it's not all the way to the right of the keyboard, so that's a good thing. I might just invert selection with Control Mouse, right? Uh, select Mouse, right Mouse key or something. As far as hiding things, yeah, the H is out of the way a bit too, I think. And actually, hiding things is pretty much something like something like deleting things, isn't it? That's the X key. I could say Control X would be hiding things or something, but right now it's dissolve selection. So let's move over to here and press uh, key binding X and let's see what that is. Um, mesh. Dissolve selection. Yeah, I think I'll make that Alt X. And then I could simply say hide which is H right now hide selection mesh hide selected that could be control X or reveal hidden could be shift X for instance let's do that shift X so now I could just press control alt A and then control X and it's hidden. Shift X, it's back again. So that would be an option as well. Now let's say we we'll go back to uh, a new general discard changes, a new cube here, and let's say inset faces, that's I. But it's kind of an extrusion, isn't it? And it's out of the way too, so let's say for instance we make it like an extrusion. Let's see what extrusions do right now. E, key binding, and let's go over to mesh, and I think most of the E's are taken, but I, s I suppose I could just disable edge menu, and then inset, I, inset faces, that's this one, let's make that control E. So now if I do this for instance, snap my cursor, extrude scale, like this for instance, X delete faces, it's a bit different from inset faces, control E. So now I can use inset faces at the expense of the edge menu. Is that really a big problem? I don't know. I think it's a personal matter. But yeah, this would be an option. Let's say for instance C is, is for cutting things. Control C is the knife tool, that's nice. But I also like the knife project tool for instance. I'm just going to select uh, side view for instance, duplicate, extrude, G, snap cursor to select it, control Z, alt R, R, extrude, like that, so scroll mouse wheel, P, separate selected. I would like to knife project this one. Uh, let's find the knife project tool. Well, I'm going to tell you in advance it doesn't exist. So we're going to say add new mesh dot knife project enter, and it's going to be Alt C. So Alt C C in combined with Alt like that. Okay, there we go. And now I press Alt C. 
and you could make it cut through yeah beautiful well thus far this video I hope it helps you out a bit with things and uh, well, maybe you have some suggestions or ideas as well so see you in the next video